So I was pumping out videos like crazy. I had four channels at once, all the way up until 2018. Um, now, what I was doing was I was trying to kind of measure myself out. When I had those four channels, I would make two channels, or I'm sorry, two videos a week, one for the Power Director University channel, and then one for like Smart Home Tech. And then the other week I would make a video for Pinnacle Studio and a video for Tips for the Tube. So I was actually doing two videos a week, but really it was a video every other week based on what channel I was making the videos on. So I was really doing two videos a week, running four channels, and doing a whole lot, answering a lot of questions, um, doing a lot of tutorial requests. I was just doing things like crazy. I was pumping out these videos like crazy, like I told you guys. And it got to a point where I was like, man, this is just too much for me. I can't keep doing this. I still have a nine to five, a regular full-time job that I do. And it was just too much for me. So I ended up saying, okay, instead of making uh, four channels and making two videos a week, I'm going to have two channels and make and still make two videos a week. So I started making one video a week for Power Director University and one video a week for Pinnacle Studio Pro. And I left Tips for the Tube and Smart Home Tech in the rearview mirror. And I was like, I'm out of here. I'm done with that. I'm just going to do these two channels. So I was doing that for probably about a year. And then in March of last year, I ended up having a anxiety attack for whatever reason and it was like the worst thing that I had ever felt in my life like I felt like you know I had no control over myself like I had thoughts racing through my mind body just shaking um I couldn't control my breathing I had to slow down and breathe and I was like I don't know what the heck is happening to me uh, the first time it happened, I tried to go to sleep that night. I couldn't sleep for days. Like, I had to get up and go to work every day, like, with no sleep. Like, I'm talking about maybe 30 minutes, zero sleep. I could not sleep for the life of me. Um, didn't know what the heck was going on. I I'm telling you right now, I thought maybe cell phone signals was messing with my brain. Uh, Wi-Fi was inside of me. I don't know. I had no freaking idea what was going on, but... I was a wreck, okay? I felt like I didn't want to get out of bed. Uh, I felt like, uh, and I forced myself to get out of bed every day. Don't get me wrong. I was like, I'm getting up. I ain't staying in this bed. I, I know if, some just told me, if you stay in this bed, it's going to be bad business for you. So I felt like, you know, all types of things were going wrong, and I did not know why. So the first thing I said was, look, stress. There's got to be some type of stress involved with this that's putting, putting me in this place in my life where I'm feeling this way and the I'm never stressed at work I'm telling you right now um for some reason I've usually always been the type of person that I'm not stressed out about anything and, and I can deliver under pressure and I just don't let those things get to me but at this point I had to say there's something that's got to be stressing me but I knew it wasn't work and so I started to think maybe it's this YouTube thing you know maybe it's the stress of having to deliver content on a schedule and people are always expecting to see it, right? And how do how does that gonna make my subscribers feel if I let them down and I don't deliver content? So the pressure of having to do that every week could have been causing me stress. Um, coming up with ideas for videos, you guys give me a lot of tutorial requests, which are cool. Um, so I definitely appreciate that. But most of those requests that you do, I, we, I have to do research. I have to determine. I have to try and fail. I have to try to do a lot of the things that you guys tell me because some of the stuff can't end up, ends up that it can't be done with Power Director. But some of it can, but it's through trial and error. I just can't get in there all the time and just show you how to do it. Sometimes I can, but a lot of the times I have to go through a process to see if the effect or if the... Um, Requests can't even be done. And so that takes time. That causes stress. Um, coming up with ideas on my own. I have a whiteboard where I come out with ideas. And usually I have like a, uh, a backlog of at least five to ten videos that I can push out. So that's something I've learned over time. But I learned that since like 
I started doing the videos with Power Director and Pinnacle Studio. But there were times when sometimes I go through that backlog and I'm like, oh my God, I got a video I got to come up with next week for two channels and I got nothing right now. I got to think this through. Let me look through my tutorials. Well, if I look through those, can I, can I find something that I can do? Uh, is it something that I have to do some research and trial and error to figure out how to do it? Um, it's a lot of things going on in your mind. Besides that, it's just the maintenance of having a channel. Um, if you're doing a channel similar to mine, then you're answering questions all the time, right? You're not just on there um, pumping out videos and then saying hi guys or answering a question every now and then. Part of the appeal of my channel is the fact that I help people. I help the community. I'm not just, you know, dropping videos and not responding to any of them. I think that a lot of people appreciate that. So I want to continue to do that as long as I can. There will be a, a time when I, I won't be able to answer as many videos um, based on how many viewers I have and subscribers I have and things like that. But for now, I can still do it. Um, so I want to do it. And that does cause some stress trying to go in there every day, uh, several times a day to look for people's questions and respond to them. Not only do I have to respond to people's questions, sometimes I have to do research to figure out the answer. I don't know the answer of everything off the top of my head. Sometimes I got to go to the forums. I have to go to um, uh, my users group on Facebook. Sometimes I just have to look in a database for uh, the uh, power director. They have a support database that you can look through. Sometimes I have to do that. So there's work involved with all of this stuff. And so I think that that was causing the stress. So I actually went to start seeing a therapist and I talked through a lot of things with them and end up finding out that, you know, and talking to my mom and talking to uh, the therapist that, you know, people in my family have had issues with anxiety, even though I've never had that issue in my life. And it was like just that, that incident in that space of time, because it didn't happen just once. I'm not just going to say that one time because it happened once and then two weeks went by. I thought I was doing better and boom. It happened again. And then after that, I just felt like, you know, I don't know what the heck is wrong with me or what's going on. So it ended up happening twice in a two-week span. And after that, seeing the therapist, understanding more about what it was, uh, talking to my mom and finding out about other people in the family who, was, who have had issues like that, it made me feel better about the fact that, okay, it's not just me, right? It's not something crazy going on in my head. Um, I can get help if I need to. And I can learn how to manage and control it. And, and with the grace of God, knock on wood and all that good stuff, I have not had another incident since that second incident last year in March. But I did come to a conclusion at that point that one channel is enough for me. So I had to really do some um, analysis to determine out of those two channels, Power Director University and Pinnacle Studio Pro, which one of those two channels I really wanted to continue to create for. And there were pros and cons on both sides, uh, whether it was the program itself, um, the community and the support the community gives, uh, whether it was um, all of the functionality and the, the add-ons and plugins or it's all type of different uh, aspects of that that I took into account. And even like the company and where the company was going and how the company's growth looked and things like that. I had to do a lot of research and analysis to determine which one of the channels I would continue doing. And as you guys know, I ended up selecting Power Director University. So um, I'm happy with my choice. Um, you know, I think that my journey up to this point has been a huge learning opportunity for me um, with all the different channels and all the different videos that I've made. I can see how I've grown uh, as far as how I've grown with the YouTube platform, I'd say, and how I've grown as a creative. Um, I definitely am appreciative of all of the channels and all of the subscribers and all of the viewers and watchers and everybody who's communicated with, with me over the years is, is meant the world to me. So why am I telling you all this stuff? Why does it matter? Well, I, I think it matters uh, because YouTubers are people too. And I think that sometimes we tend to forget that YouTubers have lives outside of YouTube. Um, 
YouTube is not the only thing that we do. Um, YouTube ain't, ain't easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of analytics. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of networking. It takes a lot to do this YouTube thing. And when you're like me and YouTube isn't the only thing that you do, if you still have a nine to five job or not even nine to five, I, I work whatever hours. Like I come home and I'm still working all day and I still make sure that I have time to do this YouTube thing because I love doing it and I love helping people. But I just guess I wanted everybody to know that YouTube ain't easy. I mean, it's a journey. And at the end of the day, I'm happy with the content that I deliver. I'm happy with the community that I've built and the community that I've become a part of. So at the end of the day, right now, my health is the most important thing to me. And if I could just have the one channel and really deliver content that my people want to see and be able to uh, be part of the community and help others out, then that's what I'm going to do. All right. That's what it's all about as far as I'm concerned. Um, so that's my story sticking to it.